Hi guys, I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call me Sir M. Let's mark up your math skills today. This video is about continuity on a closed interval. But before we proceed to our main topic, let us have a discussion of some preliminary concepts. A function f of x is said to be continuous on an open interval a, b if it is continuous at every point on the interval a, b. You may refer to the graph for the illustration. And how do we know if a polynomial, rational, or square root function is continuous in an open interval? A polynomial function is continuous at every real number. A rational function is continuous at every number in its domain. A square root function is continuous at every number in its domain. Now, let us have our main discussion. What is continuity on a closed interval? A function f of x is said to be continuous in a closed interval a, b if, first condition, it is continuous in the open interval a, b. For the second condition, it is continuous from the right of a, meaning the value of f of a exists, the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right exists, and the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right is equal to the value of f of a. These three subconditions must be satisfied for us to say that it is continuous from the right of A. For the third condition, it is continuous from the left of B, meaning the value of f of B exists, the limit of f of x as x approaches B from the left exists, and the limit of f of x as x approaches B from the left is equal to the value of f of B. These three subconditions must be satisfied for us to say that it is continuous from the left of B. Just a reminder, we will only apply the given conditions if we are given closed intervals. Let me give you some examples. Show that the function f of x is equivalent to 2 over x plus 5 is continuous on the interval negative 10, negative 5. Since the graph is only closed at negative 10, we have to check if it satisfies the first two conditions. For the first condition, since it is a rational function, the function is only defined if x plus 5 is not equal to 0. Therefore, it is continuous on the open interval negative 10, negative 5. For the second condition, let us check if it is continuous from the right of negative 10. The value of the function at x is equal to negative 10 is negative 2 over 5. The limit of the function as x approaches negative 10 from the right is negative 2 over 5. Since the limit of the function as x approaches negative 10 from the right is equal to the value of the function at x is equal to negative 10, the function is continuous from the right of negative 10. Since the two conditions are satisfied, the function is continuous in the open interval negative 10, negative 5. For our next example, let us identify whether the function f of x is equivalent to the square root of 9 minus x squared is continuous on the interval negative 3, 3. For the first condition, since it is a square root function, the function is only defined if 9 minus x squared is greater than or equal to 0, or the value is 0 or a positive number. Therefore, it is continuous on the open interval negative 3, 3. For condition number 2, let us check if it is continuous from the right of negative 3. Since the limit of the function as x approaches negative 3 from the right is equal to the value of the function at x is equal to negative 3, the function is continuous from the right at negative 3. For the third condition, since the limit of the function as x approaches 3 from the left is equal to the value of the function at x is equal to 3, the function is continuous from the left at 3. Since all the conditions are satisfied, then the function f of x is equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared is continuous on the interval negative 3, 3. That's it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something today. Click like and subscribe. Bye! Bye.